What a beautiful, beautiful piece of music. Let's give her another round of applause. That was amazing. <laughs> Scripture calls upon us to make a joyful noise to the Lord. That's about all I can do, so you don't want to hear me sing this morning. Thank you, Mitch, and thank you for your leadership. I'm not going to repeat all the folks, but we are thrilled to have Leader Pelosi and so many others. And, uh, Sean, thank everybody for being here. As we gather here today to remember and honor those who lost their lives as a result of Hurricane Katrina, our hearts are grieving. Our hearts are heavy. We know there are still families wondering what exactly happened to their loved ones. We know that even as New Orleans is rebuilt and is rebuilding, there are those that are grieving the deaths of their fathers, their mothers, their brothers, their sisters. I want those families to know that our thoughts and prayers are with them. We know nothing can be done to take away the pain of losing loved ones. We can take comfort in knowing that although Hurricane Katrina brought us to our knees, we did not allow that storm to keep us down permanently. And that's because of our resilient spirit. New Orleans and Louisiana have come back stronger and better than ever before. We've seen our people come back as well. Louisianians from all over the country have come back home because they believe in New Orleans. They believe in Louisiana. There's so much in our memories when it comes to this tragic storm. I suspect everybody here has a personal story or vivid memories that will never go away. Starting with the devastation, the loss of life, loss of limbs and property, to the heroic stories and the perseverance. I've given this day and 10 years ago a lot of thought. I've got two major takeaways from the storms and the long road back I want to share with you. The first is this. The people of Louisiana, of New Orleans, are madly resilient and tenacious. They just cannot be kept down. No matter how long the odds, they will fight and fight until they persevere and they will overcome. The second observation. The American people love each other. Now that might sound like an odd thing to say. But Americans really do care for their fellow countrymen. They will come to their rescue in time of need. And we saw that firsthand here. When the chips were down for us, Americans came from every single one of the other 49 states, many at their own expense, and they're still coming to help us in every way possible. They didn't wait for the government. They just came, and they helped us to rebuild. Church groups, civic groups, all kinds of people came to help total strangers. They gave us their resources, their time, their talents. It's what it means to be an American. Americans are a different kind of people. We run into burning buildings to rescue complete strangers. As governor of this great state, I want to say thank you to the people of America. In closing, those who were lost in the storm and its aftermath will never leave our memories. They inspire us today and every day. We will carry the torch of resiliency and recovery in their honor. Because our people keep going, they fight on. There is nothing that the people of America cannot do if we put our minds to it. Thank you. God bless the great state of Louisiana, the great state of New Orleans, and these great United States of America.